Hey guys, still here and welcome back to Taskmaster Tuesday. On Taskmaster Tuesday, I take on other YouTubers for this challenge. And this challenge varies from week to week. Currently, we're taking on four battle cruisers from the United States with a battleship of our choosing. We can have the unlock on, so we can get any sort of hull, any sort of tower, which is probably going to result in a bit of a weird build. Uh, but the job is to sink the battle cruisers as quickly as possible. Fastest time wins. Pretty straightforward. Now, the other guys who I'm taking on this challenge with are Brother Monroe, Everyday is Different, History Guy Gaming, and Spartan Elite. All their videos are linked down below, and you can see what they came up with. As far as designs, well, 20,000 meter range, fast times wins. Um, battle cruiser is usually pretty quick, not necessarily that heavily armored, but they can sport some very big guns. 20,000 meters means that torpedoes will take a while to travel, and since battle cruisers are maneuverable, well, usually they're fast, but their turning circle isn't necessarily good. So that means that I might be able to exploit that with a couple of torpedoes. Um, let's get to designing. As you can see, I have quite a few options when the hulls are concerned, and that's because I have the unlock on. Seeing as I can pick a battleship, any battleship, I can pick a hull that hopefully has a nice hull form so that it can get up to some good speeds. The Super Battleship 2, I believe that this is the French hull, has a nice hull form of 119. I believe that's the highest that the game goes when battleships are concerned. 95, 97, modern battleship, 115. Isn't that another French hull? 117. Even better. And then it just drops towards 60s, 80s, 90s. Yeah, then you just go for all their stuff. All right. Fastest time wins. Battle cruisers are hard to hit, so throw as much stuff at the battle cruiser and we might have a chance. So what I'm going to require is a lot of firepower. Not necessarily a beautiful ship, just one that throws out a ton of fire. Um, of any caliber that I see fit. Now considering it's a battle cruiser, it will have a substantial amount of armor. 8-inch um, guns probably will be the least thing that I need in order to do damage against these things. Uh, by the way, long range accuracy... Nah. Okay, fine. Let's pick this modern tower up. Um, there is one RNG element, of course, in this particular challenge, and that is that the AI generates the enemy ship. It can be a very heavy ship, it can be a very light ship. That is just the luck of the draw. There's not much that I can do to change that, so we'll just have to take the ship that we get dealt with. Sometimes you strike out, sometimes you get really unlucky and you go, oh lord, is that what I'm fighting? And who knows, maybe the battleships, sorry, battle cruisers that I'm facing will have a ton of firepower. And they might, in fact, be able to throw out, I don't know, 20 torpedoes per side. It has been known to happen. Uh, not necessarily happy days when it happens, but it is a factor that I have to keep in mind. Guns. As I said, throw out as many shells as possible and hope that you do damage. Speed, I don't think, is going to be that important. How about using a couple of quad 14s? Let's say it's a battle cruiser with about 10 inches of hull armor, belt armor that is. That means that at 12,500 meters, I would be able to pen that with a 14. With a 15, I'd be able to pen that at 15,000 meter range, but I don't necessarily have that much displacement to play with. Although I could slow the ship down. That is a really high up turret. You know what, maybe this whole hull is not going to do me any favors because it is, well, it doesn't allow you to house a whole lot of guns. Whereas a different hull, something that goes up to like the French hull, where did you go? The 115 one, there we go. 
All right, new design. San Lorenzo, nope. 65? Hold up. Here. Super Battleship. 95. That's more like it. We also get a new tower for that. And let's go for the other modern tower because then I can face, or I can put a couple more guns on there. All right. Center line. Uh, we were saying 14 inch guns. Quad. Quad. It's going to be an ugly ship. Let me tell you that right from the get go. It's going to be an ugly ship. She's not going to have any beauty prizes that she'll win. She doesn't need to. There has never been a challenge, by the way, that we did for designing a beautiful ship. And the reason for that is that I don't think that that is something that we can judge. Although we could start sort of voting on each other's designs, I suppose. Maybe a mode like that could work. Uh, can I get a very tall superimposed? <laughs> don't tell me that's going to house a fort. No. Yes, okay. Um, that doesn't look safe. It'll fit. You know, if it, if it fits, I sit, but it's... no. No, no, no. By the way, arguably, you could say that a barbette like this, or even the, the tall or the very tall, the small ones, that they have relatively less armor. Because it is just... A different circle. I mean, I don't have any barbette armor to speak of as of right now, but it is something that I would think makes sense. Anyway, guns, guns, guns. I want to have a really impressive broadside. Ideally 20 guns, maybe more. Yep, we're already at more. This is uh, 16, 20, 24. Oh, come on. Can we only get 24? Really? Um, how far does this thing slide back? Oh, that is as far as it goes. Okay. Right. This is as big as the San Lorenzo will go. What if I don't go for a hull like that, but take a Super Battleship 2? Do I have more real estate with that? Maybe. Not by much, necessarily. Although you do get the German towers now, since this is one of the German hulls. Um, maybe. Maybe, maybe. I think I'm not going to win that much in turret space. 14s. Oh, sorry, no. 15s or 14s? What did I decide on? 15s. Screw it. 14s have a bit better rate of fire. Alright, that's 16 barrels. 20. Oh, come on. Be like that. Fine. I'll just push this turret further forward. There we go. Guns, guns, guns. That is 24 barrels right there. It doesn't fire particularly quickly yet. Now it does. We throw out 24 shells every 37 seconds. That should make an impression on the American battle cruisers. Oh, let's put that back. Uh, speed. I could make this thing really freaking fast if I want to. <laughs> Hold on. Let me first install the critical mission critical systems. Uh, lit no, 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 no. I have lost a few challenges because my turrets blew off, so I'm not having that. Heavy shells put my pen at 20,000 meters at 18 inches. Yeah, sounds good. Let's make sure the ship has a funnel. She has forced boilers and oil. I'm going to have a bit more. 
maybe a lot more belt armor. 15 inch belt extended. You can make some really ridiculous designs if you're using these guns in this hull. No way. Hold on, if we're doing that, then we're gonna go all out. This thing needs to be survivable. We're gonna charge in at 36 knots? And I still have displacement left? What is my turning circle like? 1355 is not even that bad. It's not even that bad. I don't really have a good engine efficiency of only 32% though. And that is the Uber 5, right? Yeah. Um, there is another option that would still maintain my level of firepower, and that's to install a couple of side-mounted guns. So here and here. Oh, that really starts to cut into displacement. Hmm. I was hoping to put another Uber funnel there, like that. Induced boilers, no, too heavy. Balanced boilers, too heavy. Forced. There we go, 35 knots. And our engine efficiency has jumped to 66.9. What have I created now? What the hell is this? How many barrels are we currently at? 32. Sure. This has to be one of the biggest broadsides that I'm capable of bringing to bear. 24 guns. I'm not sure if I've ever had something larger than that. This is just uh, aesthetics, by the way. Oh, shit. Place that. You guys are not in line, are you? Nope, you're not. Try again. See, if I put it like that... Yeah, that's it. Don't... Don't move. Sit still. There we go. After we'd have set 4.8%. Not to worry. 2.1. How far does this tower go? That far. Okay, so I cannot move that up anymore. Um, I cannot move this back anymore either. Hold up. I can still install two more side-mounted guns. <laughs> Ship is overweight, yeah, you don't say. No, I guess I'm just gonna have to take that 2.1 off weight offset. Uh, torpedo protection, none. Aft belt, oh, sorry, belt and belt extended 15 inch. Turret 15 inch. Armor quality 110%. Yes. San Lorenzo. Attack. Fastest time wins. Oh, we already opened up right away. Range 17,000 clicks. 21, 19, and 18.4. Alright, buddy. Introduce yourself to the crowd. What are you and should I be afraid of you? It's moving away from me. It has six barrels, but that's still 24 barrels with all the ships combined. I'm seeing just two funnels, which could mean that its engine efficiency is not that great. But then again, they usually travel at full speed anyway, so I'm not that impressed. Quite a lot of secondaries, which, by the way, I negated to put on my ship simply because I don't feel like I'm going to need them at all. All right, we are traveling at 28 knots. We're going to increase to 35. And we're going to do some damage. Because this is a San Lorenzo and she is hungry. These guns need to be fed. Are these... Oh, crap. These don't turn too far. Ah, shit. I should have kept them with their... Their placement over there and their guns pointing forward. Because this is not quite working. If I go broadside, it will work. But the way that I have the ship oriented right now, it doesn't work too well. Now, I don't think that these ships are particularly threatening. They have three double 14-inch barrels. 
which gives them a 44.8% chance to pen, but I have already hit them with a 15 inch. And this battle cruiser seemingly only took a bit of standard damage, no flooding, yeah, just a scratch on the stern there. Both these ships are oriented. They seem to be moving away from me, but not at that angle. I should be turning that way. Nice one. Hit another one with a fire. I'm currently using just, what, eight barrels? That's a disgrace. The other turrets, the wing turrets aren't even firing yet. Hold up. Let me rectify this. San Lorenzo. Come starboard. By the way, the reason that you're looking at a German-ish ship, as far as the towers are concerned, but a Spanish name, is because I went with the Spanish as my main uh, nation, and then hit unlock all, and then it picks from the Spanish name pool. So that's why you're looking at a name like that. Alright, I want all the guns blazing, except the ones on the opposite side. These two turrets are not terribly well placed either, because they too are blocked by the rest of the ship. Now the real question is, can I go broadside without getting punished for it? I'm not sure, because I'm taking mid-deck penetration, and that means that the angle is still a bit too high. There we go. Now all the guns are getting involved bit more, because it looks like this stern gun, stern turret, is not yet active. I know this is going to cost me in time, but I want to see a full salvo of this ship. 24 15-inch barrels. Let's get those main 15s reloaded. Hold. Uh, who are we targeting, by the way? Does need to be targeting one that's pretty easy to hit? Yeah, you look easy enough to hit. Perfectly broadside. A damaged engine. It all adds up. You may fire when ready. Let me see if I can catch a shot at this. White all at the same time, but a beauty of a salvo nonetheless. And the battleship has sent her regards. Now to see if those regards will actually arrive at the American battlecruiser. They do, in fact, at least a few. Causing serious engine damage, double floodings, and a fire. Identification on the ship should be forthcoming. Well, not forthcoming, but forthcoming. 94%, 90, and another 93. Unfortunately, they're not quite getting the whole hood reception yet, which means they just detonate upon impact. But with this much of a salvo flying out every time, I might hit a turret at some point. The turret might flash fire. And ammunition might be hit. Oh, that was a full miss on all the entire salvo. Come on. 98%. Tell me what you are and how heavy you are. I'm thinking 50,000 ton. No, that's too heavy. 45? Go on. 35. Okay, I was off by 10,000 tons. Usually not a good thing when you're trying to guess a lady's weight. Don't be off by 10,000 tons. Oh, come on. If you ever have to guess a lady's weight and you're off by 10,000 tons, then you might get her broadside as well. So be careful. Now, I think I'm fighting at a range which is slightly too large, too great a range. And that's causing me to miss. The Battlecruiser California does not seem to have that particular problem. She has 20% chance to hit versus my 8. Currently 9. How many bulkheads do you have? All of them. Okay. All of the bulkheads. Fortunately, the San Lorenzo is very well armored. 
and can take a bit of a beating. Unlike these ships, which have an armor belt of 8 inch and a belt extended of 4.4, but they get a 100% bonus, so that's an 8.8 .8 inch armor belt and a 16 inch main armor belt. As opposed to having a 30 inch main armor belt and change. Can you guys even do damage? Yeah, you can, because you're probably flying through the deck. Time has passed, 16 minutes. Almost 10% chance to hit. There we go. We're really starting to tear this battleship apart. Sorry, battle cruiser apart. Now, I'm not sure if I lucked out against the battleships. Why do we keep calling them battleships? Against the battle cruisers. Because they do have a decent set of guns. They have a lot of bulkheads. Um, if you luck out against battle cruisers, I imagine they have minimum bulkheads. And uh, maybe they're not too fast. So that they're very easy to hit. And that you're pretty easily flooding all of them. Or, or they don't have a lot of barbette armor. Uh, these guys have barbette 4, so that's the maximum. I don't even have barbette 4, do I? No, I went with barbette 3. Uh, with barbette 4, you have very good protection. And you reduce flash fire chance. Their propellant is cordite 1. I believe that's pretty good as far as flash fires are concerned. At least it's not lidite 2. That, <laughs> that would also be a pretty important factor if you're trying to get a, a battle cruiser built as poorly as possible. Oh, maybe that could make a nice challenge for another time for a taskmaster. Build a battle cruiser that gets flash fired as quickly as possible. <laughs> make it as poorly designed as you can. So, no armor, uh, no barbette armor. Make sure you get all the propellant and uh, increased ammo shells or increased ammo for the shells maybe increased torpedoes as well but i don't believe that that aids in your chances of getting blown up but factors like those <laughs> yeah why not california is almost down sun lines are just constantly putting out shells Quite an interesting ship. Feasible against the Yamato class or against another 130,000 ton battleship? Uh, probably not so much. I don't know if those 15s would then be enough. And then I would also probably be taking a lot more damage. But as it stands against these battle cruisers, it is pretty doable. I'm also trying to close the distance, but. The Americans keep running. Oh, they're just as fast, if not faster, than my ship. That's not helpful. The California isn't. But she has a bit of problem in engineering. Three of her engines are out. Oh, Lexington, where are you going? Oh, no. I hope I can hit the Lexington. If I can't then she's going to cost me a lot of time to sink. And I don't like that. 95. 162 is not good enough, guys. 100% chance to pen. The armor on the ship is pretty much gone. Send a salvo of high explosive. I just need to open a few more holes. Just got to flood that thing out. Yeah, or burn it down, but that's usually not very much. <laughs> See? <laughs> One, two, three fires, and they're all done. Doesn't really help. Another fire. No. HE is not quite going to do it for me this time. Hold on, we're not done. Maintain pressure on the California. Oh, you did get it. Now you got a flooding on the famous. Okay. Flamous, Flamous, Famous, America, and Lexington. And the San Lorenzo has taken a few hits. But she blocked 64, another 32 ricocheted, and quite a lot of them actually only partially penned the armor. Of 
19.2. Must have been an angled 6-inch belt. Or a 6-inch deck armor. Plus bonus. No. No, not really. 19.5 inch of armor? I'm not sure which part of the ship they're hitting. No idea. Good lord, give it up, California. There are other ships waiting. 0.8% structural? Come on. Thank you. Alright, now let's quickly get rid of the America. She is... turning that way. I'm concerned about Lexington, because Lexington's already 19.8. No! No, 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 no. Target Lexington. Lexington is running away. What speed is she doing that at? This ship is fast at 35 knots, but I'm not 37.5 knot fast. Come on. 33.8. Chance to hit 2%. Oh, no. Oh, no. Nineteen four, nineteen three, nineteen two. Accuracy should be going up. It is so tempting to target the Famous and the America, but... I need the Lexington before she manages to escape. But she appears to be coming back. She appears to be coming back. Okay, good. If she continues to come back, then I should let her do that uninterrupted. Steady as she goes. Train the guns over to starboard. We need to sink the famous. And our accuracy should be really good. 30%. There we go. Engine damaged. Flooding. Maybe I should also fire a few salvos at the America before sinking the famous to slow her down. Main gun destroyed. Oh, you're lucky you didn't get a flash fire there, famous. Very lucky indeed. Rudder damaged, fire and flooding. Very good. Switch target to the America. Lexington is still closing in. Very good. Normally I don't want to get stuck between two different formations, but in this case I'll make an exception. Three flooding. No, one flooding and a couple of fires. Here comes the salvo again. One salvo, two. Oh crap, the rest can't fire yet. I keep forgetting that that secondary tower is positioned in such a way that the last couple of turrets don't work too well. There we go. Now they're operating. At least one of them is. That's the uh, upper tower. Upper turret. Now just to get the lower one functioning. Fire and flooding again. Very nice. Keep it up. Famous has repaired her flooding. America, what's your chance to pen? 7%. GG. I don't see that happening anytime soon. Famous last words, he said, as the ammo detonated right underneath the A turret and sunk the entire ship. It's, n it's been known to happen. <laughs> that was 14 inch. It just dinged right off the side. There we go, more. More, more, more. Because I'm taking quite a while. I have found torpedoes to be a little bit less effective lately. Because I'm looking at the range and thinking, you know what, torpedoes would have been nice at this range. But I find that torpedoes are... Well, not so, maybe, maybe not so much that torpedoes are bad, but... It's that the enemy are just so good at taking action against it. That is my problem. They have gotten so good at detecting the torpedoes. And then the AI just immediately makes a course correction. And your torpedoes veer off harmlessly. I have launched um, 
without showing it on camera, quite a lot of salvos at various ships. Battle cruisers, destroyers, battleships, well, various different displacements. But they just dodge. They see your torpedo, they know exactly where to turn, they know exactly where you need to be going in order to find a gap, and they just use it. It's, on the one hand, it's admirable that they're capable of doing that, on the other hand, it is quite dissatisfying, because you plan your torpedo salvo, even a cross torp, when the torps arrived at the exact same time as I timed it out, I launched from two different vectors at about 15 kilometer range. They dodged both. I was like, what the hell? How did you do that? There we go. Famous got a flash fire. Famous for all the wrong reasons. The America is now... Yeah, there we go. More floodings. Stop. With the damage, Lexington, you're up next. But I first have to sink another sister ship. Which seems to be taking on water from Bowdestern. Oh, and um, her turret joint space force as well. Okay. Lexington, do we have more volunteers to join space force? Are you also interested in our new space program with your turrets? We still have some empty seats. And a couple of 14-inch turrets would fit in nicely, although 8-inch is also acceptable. But then again, that's a secondary gun, and I don't think I have ever seen an 8-inch secondary, or any secondary for that matter, get a flash fire. Another beauty of a salvo. Let's see if I can get the ship firing. Hold! Oh. Ooh, that's not a bad shot either. That is quite nice. Uh, yeah, screenshot that. that was, yes, that's what I was hoping for. Unfortunately, I still had the HUD turned on. If you're trying to get screenshots for yourself, by the way... Ooh, another ma damaged, uh, destroyed main gun. If you're trying to get screenshots for yourself, Control shift alt z turns off the HUD, and F11, function key 11, makes your screenshots. That easy. Alright, I'm almost at 50 minutes, and I'll probably need a bit more. Unless... Unless that happens. That was an ammunition explosion. For 2316, and it looks like Lexington has a few fires and some flooding to work on. Let's run it at one time speed now, because there's, she might sink pretty soon. It's not a flash fire, your ammo explodes. Battle cruisers never change. Then again, a couple of battle cruisers didn't really have any business fighting a battleship. It's not their intended role. Um, that was another story I wanted to share, by the way. I had a really good laugh over the weekend as I was doing more Naval Academy scenarios. What I found was that I had a battle cruiser, and a battle cruiser was trying to sink an enemy battleship. Oh, bye bye, there goes your turret. More Space Force turrets. Um, that particular battleship that I was trying to sink, I was turning circles around the battleship. So my battle cruiser was circling around the battleship. That's how quick the battle cruiser could turn. And uh, it turns out that I just did so much damage that her ammo detonated. And I think I escaped with 95% structural or something like that. Okay, 90929. 90929. Lexington sinks due to structural damage. Not a particularly quick fight. But. <laughs> good lord. <laughs> If I would have to make one design change, I would say these turrets need to go. And they need to sit like that. Because what was happening right now is that I could barely use them unless I opened up a whole lot. So this would have been a better design. But then again, I quite like the uh, one-pointing bow, one-pointing stern. Anyway, 90929 was my time. And I think that the other guys will have probably done that better. But then again, let's see how they do. 
Links to their videos down below in the description. Let me know what you think of this, uh, <laughs> this behemoth of a design. The San Lorenzo. And I'll see you guys soon for more videos. Thank you for watching.